Hello, and welcome to my QTP video tutorial where I will show you how to add items to the object repository by using the object spa. In this video, I'll be answering the following question. How to add objects to the object repository from the object spa? As a reminder, to stay up to date with my latest videos, make sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel by clicking the subscribe button. This moves us to the topic which asks the question, how to add objects to the object repository from the object spa. One of the functionalities offered in QTP is the object spa. It is a very useful tool as it allows you to be able to learn the properties and property values that QTP sees for an object. One of the other features of the object spa is that you have the ability to add objects to the object repository directly from the object spa window. I'll now flip over to QTP to show you an example of this. Now that we have the QTP window open, we need to click to open the object spa. And for more information on how to use the object spa, please watch some of my other videos where I go into more information on that. Now to open the object spa, I will be clicking a button on the button bar. So I'll look near the top of my window, near the middle, and I'll look for the button that looks like a hat with a pair of glasses underneath it. Once I find it, I'll click it. This now loads the object spa window. Now I need to be able to click to select a specific object in an application. To do this, I'll look for the button near the top of the object spa window that looks like a white finger laid over top of a blue box. Once I find it, I'll click it. Now you'll notice that once I click that, QTP itself minimized and now I'm left with the underlying windows. I'm going to be clicking to select an item in the Windows Sample Flight application logon window. You'll be able to see that window here along the left hand side of my screen. Now the item that I'm looking to add is the edit box for the agent name input. So the agent name input is near the center of the window and once, I'm, once I find it I can hover my mouse over that edit box and as you can see it places a dark rectangular box around that input. Now this lets me know that the object spy has recognized this as an object. I can now click to select this object. You'll notice that once I did that QTP now reappears and in the object hierarchy section of the object spot window, we now see a dialog window and then the win edit for agent name. That means that QTP was able to successfully select this particular object. Now to be able to add this object to the object repository, I need to look near the top of the window for a button that looks like a blue square with a green plus sign on top of it. Now when I hover my mouse over it, I actually see a tooltip pop up that reads as add object to repository. Now before I click that button, I want to click to select the object that I'm actually looking to add to the object repository. Meaning, since I want to add the agent name edit box, I need to click to select that. Then I will now click the blue square with a green plus sign on top of it. Now once I click that, I notice that the button that I just clicked has now become disabled. I can now click to close the object spa window. Now I need to click to open the object repository. For more information on how to open the object repository, feel free to watch one of my other videos where I go into more information on that. Once the object repository window is open, I'm now able to look along the left hand side of the window in the test objects section. In the test objects section, I now see two items. One for the login object and one for the agent name object. So this now validates that we were successfully able to add the agent name object into the object repository. This now concludes our video where I've answered the question of how to add objects to the object repository from the object spa. As a reminder, to stay up to date with my latest videos, 
Make sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel by clicking the subscribe button. Thank you, and I hope that you have a great day.